All right, man, Torture Talk. Six o'clock show. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Look, man, so I want to talk about OVO Fest. Is it still going on? I don't know because I haven't seen it. About it. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it's. Maybe they sell tickets a week before. I don't know. But October's very own OVO Fest is coming up. Do y'all think that Drake is going to do something big? And if he is, what do you think he's going to do? Is he going to reignite this beef? Is he going to drop a new diss track? What's going to happen? Um, I'll get my thoughts at the end. But first, <clears throat> this is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas. Y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. All that good stuff. Hey, man, listen, they called me the Hidden Gym. I went through 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000, a million by Monday morning. Also, too, let me know where you're from. So we're going to get into this little clip of this video, and um, we're going to come back and discuss. And, um, yeah, man, I want to talk about this because I think this is uh, something that a lot of people are sleeping on. So let's get to it. All right, so let's go, six o'clock, let's go. <laughs> As we move into October, rumors and speculation are circulating across the hip hop community. Many believe that after a summer filled with setbacks, this month could be the moment Drake attempts to reclaim his throne. With his brand historically tied to dramatic comebacks, fans and supporters are eager to see if he can turn things around after a difficult year. Before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Rap News Gossip for more hip hop news and updates. Let's get in. Now, here's the thing. Only reason why I think that people think that Drake is the comeback comeback king or whatever, really not really, because he did a joint he he did the joint with Pusha T, he 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 submitted that battle he submitted he was like, okay yeah I'll give up, Pusha T made him tap out, then he turns around and drops Scorpion I believe, and Scorpion wasn't that good to me it was just all right it wasn't that good but people think because Scorpion had a couple of hits on it that that's his comeback. It's the thing about Drake which I don't understand why people do this with him. They always make it seem like because he has a couple of songs that people like that he is doing this amazing work. And it's like, no, he has a, he has a core fan base and this fan base is going to follow him around anyway. So I don't, I don't get why people do that. To what's really going on with Drake. Drake's fall from grace. This summer was not kind to Drake. He's faced public failures and widespread criticism. His once unshakable reputation took a hit, and it's left many wondering, is Drake capable of bouncing back? For years, he's been at the top, dominating charts and defining trends. But 2023 hasn't been his year. And now, as we enter October, the pressure is mounting for him to deliver. Many of his fans have clung to the idea that Drake... Yeah, I don't know if somebody got this this I uh, think <laughs> reading something but uh it's 2024 not 2023 so I don't know just saying still has what it takes to rise from the ashes but the reality is starting to set in Drake's career may not be in ruins yet but it's certainly seen better days. The clock is ticking, and if he doesn't make some bold moves soon, Alec, he might lose more than just fans. He could lose the respect of the entire culture. Drake's October antics, Turks and Caicos drama. As we kick off October, Drake has once again been spotted in Turks and Caicos, which, for his critics, practically writes its own punchline. Instead of focusing on music, he's back to partying, living it up in his favorite getaway spot. This kind of behavior is exactly what his detractors criticize. His refusal. That's one thing about Drake you gotta understand. He's addicted to the life. Like, when Kendrick said, you like being famous, you know what I'm saying? I think he really does. He's addicted to the life. Like, he can't get around it. He can't get away from it. This is something that I think that's going to haunt Drake for the rest of his life. I think that him, I think everybody that he knows and everybody that he's used to, this is just what he's used to. And 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 I'll be honest with you, me analyzing his dad, he kind of gets that from his father, too, because his father does the same thing at his age. He's still partying. He's still doing things. Like he's still young, he's still chasing young girls and stuff like that. So you got to understand that he gets that from his dad. 
not he might not get it from his dad directly, but his dad behavior is the same as his behavior. To mature and confront his responsibilities as a major figure in hip hop. What's even more surprising is how Drake has been handling his public image. Instead of releasing new music to distract from the drama, he's turned to Instagram to make a statement, but not the kind you'd expect. In a rather petty move, Drake went on an unfollowing spree, cutting ties with some of the biggest names in music. Kendrick Lamar, The Weeknd, and even his former friends like Lil Yachty and Rick Ross found themselves on the receiving end of Drake's social media snub. But Here's the kicker. None of these people seem to care. The rest of the hip hop world is moving on, working on new projects, while Drake is stuck in this never ending cycle of social media antics, unfollows and burned bridges. Drake's unfollow spree didn't just include rappers. He also cut ties with NBA star LeBron James and former friend DeMar DeRozan, all because of their connections to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, so the thing is, here's the thing. What they saying about him right now is absolutely true. He is stuck in a social media loop. I keep telling y'all, I said this before, Drake is a social media rapper. He needs social media. Without social media, he won't exist. He can't exist. He needs that. He needs that attention. It's like a drug to him. He's like, he's like women who like attention on social media because we all know Instagram for the most part is for women. It is. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women love Instagram. They want pictures. They want posting. I think guys like attention too, but I don't need to even get on this whole thing with women because we know what time it is with y'all in social media with uh, y'all in Instagram. I should say maybe not, rest of social media but be honest be honest if you posting if you posting pictures you want people to see them and women love pictures that's why y'all get mostly most of the dms that's why y'all get most all that stuff but either way that's another story for another day i'm just saying drake he has that type of persona he loves he loves instagram he loves it it seems like Drake is drawing lines in the sand, but the reality is this type of behavior is what got him into trouble in the first place. Instead of addressing his critics or trying to repair his reputation, he's doubling down on pettiness. Fans in Drake's camp are trying to spin this as a power move, a sign that Drake is back and ready to dominate again. But to the rest of us, it feels more like desperation. Instead of putting energy into his music, he's burning bridges left and right, isolating. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I definitely think this is a cry for desperation. Like, I think he doesn't, I think Drake at this point doesn't know what to do. I think he don't know what to do. And here's where the four, the, 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 the core fundamentals of street, uh, if you're from the streets, this is where, this is what Kendrick was saying. You would know, common sense would tell you what to do. Drake doesn't really have common sense. I mean, he's a smart, smart businessman in a way, you know, and, but outside of that, he doesn't have any common sense because I'm going to be honest with y'all. If I was Drake, what I would do is I'll just come out with a rap album. At this point, I'll just come out with a rap album. There will be no singing on it at all. Just all lyrics. And I wouldn't even diss, I wouldn't even diss anybody. I'll just do a whole rap album. That's it. I might even have a theme to it. You know what I'm saying? I would call it comeback season two. That's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? And it would just be all bars. I wouldn't even do, I wouldn't even diss Kendrick. I'll just skip that and just go do this. And it just be all bars. And I'll just do like a whole hip hop rap album. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, or I'll call it, I'll call it my apologies to the culture. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm giving Drake all these great ideas, but that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. And I'll just do, I'll just come out with a rap album because when it comes to a certain thing, we know you can't be Kendrick. Everybody knows this. We know you can't be Kendrick. You cannot be Kendrick. Ain't no way around that. That's an automatic L for you. So the best thing for you to do, change the game that way. Say, okay, you know what? I'm just going to do a whole rap album. And we're going to see who has the best rap album. Me, Kendrick, or Cole. 
And that's what I would do. I would I would come to come through it with the spirit of competition in that way. But I wouldn't do a direct this. Not no more. I wouldn't do that. Himself from some of the biggest names in the industry. Why this strategy is failing. So why does this matter? Why should we care that Drake is unfollowing people on Instagram? The truth is, these actions highlight a larger issue with Drake right now. He's out of touch. His pettiness and obsession with social media drama are far removed from what we expect from a rapper of his caliber. Hip hop has always been about competition, but it's also about growth, maturity, and respect. Right now, Drake is lacking in all three. Can That's 100% facts. That's 100%. Um, this this is the thing, right? Out of all these artists that's displayed in front of you, right? Kendrick and The Weeknd have showed tremendous growth in their music. I'm talking like, let's start with Kendrick. Kendrick went from we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, Good Kid, Mad City. We could say Section E, but let's just start with Good Kid, Mad City. Good Kid, Mad City to to uh to pimp a butterfly which was a i don't know i don't even know how you can leap over good kid mad city like that but that just goes to show you how great kendrick is because good kid mad city is a classic that's a certified classic and he leaped over that and then you got to pimp a butterfly then you got damn which arguably people say that's his best album and then he got mr morale which is the most important album so now let's go to the weekend. Oh, man, where did I start with the weekend? Like, he goes from the trilogy, right? Then from the trilogy, he goes to, I believe it was uh, Beauty Behind the Madness, which was a leap from the trilogy. Then he goes into My, My Dear Melancholy. Then he goes to Starboy. Then he goes to After Hours, which was a super leap. Then he goes from that. Then he goes to um, Dawn FM. And it's like, this is what Drake don't understand. These artists, and I, and I, I skipped J. Cole for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that he leaped like them. If you ask me, he did some shit, but mostly it's, his stuff stayed in the vein of where he's at. These two dudes on the end, Cole and Weekend, I mean, um, um, Kendrick and the Weekend, jumped. They jumped. And it's a couple of different things I want to say about the Weekend, but I'm going to let this play a little bit. Let's go. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and even the Weekend have moved beyond petty social media games. They're focused on their art and their legacy. Meanwhile, Drake seems more concerned with sending cryptic messages online than putting out quality music. His latest stunts only served to reinforce the image that Kendrick painted of him in their ongoing feud, someone more interested in clout than creativity. Can Drake still turn things around? With all that being said, is it possible for Drake to turn things around? Of course, he's proven in the past that he's capable of bouncing back. But right now, his approach is doing more harm than good. If he wants to regain respect, he needs to focus on what made him great in the first place. His That's going to be very hard because what made him great in the first place doesn't really work for him anymore. Because he doesn't he done move past that. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by move past that, I don't mean he moved past that and he went up. He moved past that and went down. Because his his music is 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 not good, it's not good. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to y'all like this. I understand Drake, and I understand why he he stood ten toes down and was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna let this happen. I'm gonna keep going." I think I think if he would have, to be honest with y'all. I think he should have just he should have he should have just handled that with Kendrick before he even battled. Because his legacy is ruined. He's ruined. And some people think that this is a good thing because they're saying that, well, we need we need him to be out of here because then you could get some real artists to come through and do their thing. That's true. I'm not even gonna lie. That's true. He definitely needs to be knocked down a couple of notches. You know what I'm saying? But to me, he was never in the running of greatest of all time anyway. 
I think a lot of people call him their him their goat because he has so many hits, but he's never been in the running to me for greatest of all time. He's not even in the top twenty to me. Yeah, you know I mean, if we talking like album sales, yeah, he could be. He'll be in there. Of course, he'll be in there. But there's gonna be a lot of people in there that's not good in there for album sales. You know what I'm saying? But again, what are we doing here with Drake? What is he doing? I don't know. Music. Instead of hiding behind Instagram unfollows and cryptic captions, Drake needs to remind the world why he's one of the biggest names in the game. If he wants to win back even a fraction of his audience, he needs to release something that proves he's still got it. Petty beefs and online drama aren't going to cut it. The hip hop world has moved on, and if Drake doesn't change course, he risks being left behind. So, what do you think? Has Drake lost touch with the culture, or is there still time for him to make a comeback? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Rap News Gossip for more updates on this ongoing saga. We'll be keeping a close eye on what Drake does next, and we can't wait to see how this all plays out. All right, links will be in the description. You know that. Yeah, so he hasn't grown as an artist. I ain't going to lie to y'all. So everything he does now is just petty work. And it's, it's when Kendrick said your little memes are losing steam, you know what I'm saying? It, everything Kendrick said is kind of coming true. You know what I'm saying? It's coming true. Again, I said this before about, about uh, The weekend and Drake. The weekend is the final boss. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The weekend, you could say, is the final boss, or at least the one that Drake wants to capture or take over. And he's never gonna be able to do that. He's never gonna be able to do that. If we're talking about catalogs, the weekend catalog is much better than Drake's. By far better. You know what I'm saying? Too many hits. And I'm talking like timeless hits, not like, oh, not like hits that you just did with somebody and then that's and then it's a hit for a week. No, we're talking like songs that is still being played from 10 years ago. And it's like it's new. I can't feel my face is still being played right now. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Go tell go tell your friends about it. Still being played. Often still being played. Wicked games still being played. You know what I'm saying? Drake doesn't have that. He doesn't have a Wicked Games. He don't have those songs. He got songs that's pop or good songs that people like, but he doesn't have them songs where it's like, okay, this is crazy and it's different. So when it comes to Kendrick, he has a lot of timeless stuff too. His albums are timeless, not just only his singles. He has albums that everything he does means something. And I promise y'all, I'm coming with this big, this, this big, big, big Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers review that I'm doing and I'm working on it. It's taking me a long time, but when I put it out, it's going to be really long and I want y'all to watch it. And it's just different. Let's just say it's different. I put a lot of work into this. It's different. But it's coming though, I ain't gonna lie. But um, yeah, I just think that OVO Fest, I don't think I think the the typical people who like Drake is gonna be there, but I don't know if this is gonna help him. I th- I, I, I generally think Drake should just take a break and just just fall back for a while. Don't say nothing. Just delete his Instagram. I think he should just go dark. Don't do nothing. Delete your Instagram, delete all that. Spend time with your ch- with your with your uh your kid, your children. <laughs> Spend time with your children, man. That's what I think you should do. But either way, man, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all in the morning, man. Yeah, yeah, have a good night. All right, see y'all. Peace, bye. <laughs>